Hi, this is Anna, and this is Pop Crochet Magic Pot Holder Color Block Style. We'll be using the famous Magic Pot Holder pattern, but we're going to take it up a notch with even color stripes doing it color block style. I'll show you how to hide the yarn color switch. Nice and double thick and very modern looking. The Magic Pot Holder pattern originally designed in 1997 by Marion Brogo of Athens, Michigan. Here's a quick rundown of the original pattern. Crochet in rounds till it look like a purse, then fold in the middle to form a square, then stitch the open seam. That's pretty much it. To make the even stripes, I would suggest to make your rows in odd numbers. In my case, I have 9 rows of single crochet stitch of each color. Now this is the foundation chain, which is the base of the square. We're going to crochet 4 rows of single crochet stitch around it to start the pattern and the foundation will act as one row, so when we fold it into a square, it will look like nine rows. With pot holders, we have to use cotton yarn. So I'm using Dishy Cotton Yarn exclusively sold at WeCrochet.com. A skin is 190 yards and some colors are sold in cones. And we'll be using four millimeter crochet hook. The foundation count depends on how big you want your pot holder to be. I'm starting with 46 chain foundation, which made my pot holder a seven inch square. Once you're done, do a three single crochet stitch on the second chain, then single crochet on each chain all the way to the end. Once you reach the end of your foundation, do three single crochet stitch on the last chain. Now don't worry if that chain start loosening up on you because you can tighten it up with the tail of the foundation. Now once you're done, go around to the other side of the foundation and start doing single crochet stitches on each chain. Don't forget to crochet over the tail, don't leave it behind. And from here on, we'll be doing single crochet stitches on every stitch. We will be doing four rows. So after the four rows, it should look like the base of a purse. Now we are ready to do the next stripe. We're gonna start the magic part early where we will fold the corner. We will hide the yarn switch on the side of the square. So we're going to switch yarn right on the fold. So crochet till you reach the fold part. Pause when you have two loops in your hook. Grab the other yarn color, yarn over and finish up the single crochet stitch process and start crocheting with the new yarn. Take a quick stop after five to six stitches to double check the switch. We need to make sure that the switch is right at the fold. If it doesn't, frog it, then do it again. Go ahead and cut off the other yarn to get it out of the way and crochet over the rest of it. Now we gotta do nine rows. Our second stripe is done. Now we'll do the same process for the next stripe. Fold the corner so we'll know when to switch yarn. Once you reach the corner, start your yarn switch process. Pause when you have two loops in your hook, grab the other yarn and yarn over. Now start crocheting with the new yarn, then do another nine rows. We're about to do our last stripe. Again, do the yarn switch on the corner. Pause when you have two loops in your hook, grab the other yarn and yarn over. I'm gonna keep repeating that for my beginner friends because I need you to remember that that is the most basic and right way to switch yarn colors. We are done with our stripes. When you fold it, the edges should meet closing the square. But before we seal it, we need to do the hook. Crochet till you reach the top corner. Then right at the tip of the square, do 15 chain stitches. If you want a shorter hook, then you can do a shorter chain. But I think 15 chain stitches makes a good size hook. Then attach the end of the chain to the same stitch you started with and finish it up with a slip stitch. We are almost done with our pot holder. We just need to seal this guy. Cut off the yarn at least twice the length of the pot holder. Grab your darning needle and then draw your needle through the loop to create the knot. I'm going to seal my pot holder with a whip stitch. Starting at the left side of the pot holder, insert your needle into the bottom of the stitch, making sure to go through both loops. Then go to the right side, starting from the top, then through the two loops and go through the other side. Tighten up a little, so it's pretty much going right to left, then tighten it. So after each stitch is made, pull the yarn to tighten it a little. 
This will help blend the stitch and keeps it flat. I've tried so many sealing methods out there like the mattress stitch, the flat slip stitch, running stitch, even the invisible stitch. None of them worked for me. None of them stayed flat and it's very obvious. The whip stitch is so easy and fast and if it's tightened properly, it blends well. And when you're done, just go ahead and weave it in twice so it won't unravel and just cut off the rest of the yarn and we are done. Here we got nice even stripes. The cutoff lines are hidden on the side so through non-crochet's eyes it doesn't exist. What's cool about this is that the stripes goes in different directions on the other side. Nice and double thick. You can use it as a pot holder and as a hot pad. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think. Please like and share and subscribe. More cool patterns coming soon. And check out my website. This is Anna. Happy crocheting.